let's talk about the character of Mary and Alice and the road that they take this first season. Um, they kind of got to maybe catch up with each other over what, what's what's transpired since she last showed up and um, maybe talk about how that kind of helps develop who Alice is going forward. You know, I think um, it was important for us that it's fun in the beginning, kind of weird and wacky, and then as it goes, you start to love her and they start to love each other and kind of rely on each other more. And the relationship becomes a little bit more clear and solid about what it is. And I think, I think David, uh, the showrunner, kind of found a nice overall arc that uh, matches in with what the Goldbergs like to do. It, like it, it, at the beginning, it's kind of fun and wacky, and then by the end, it's a little bit heartfelt and a little bit cute, and you start to, you know, feel a little bit for them for real. And I think our season arc is kind of like that. And the um... <laughs> and she showed up. Um... <laughs> the season arc is kind of like that, and I think each episode it follows that too. So hopefully, you know, by the end of the season you really feel for the character and that our that our little I think our finale is actually pretty neat in a really interesting way to take it and I think people will hopefully have watched enough to like the character and the relationship enough to, for that to hit them pretty hard. What is it that Mary's kind of motivated by um, in terms of is she there to kind of prohibit uh, Alice's life or is she kind of really trying to help Help her out. Uh, it's supposed to be protection, I think. It's like an overprotective, crazy parent. Uh, it's someone who doesn't want to see her get hurt and that has a vested interest in her safety because if she's not there, Mary doesn't exist either in a way. So uh, I think it should be that. It's really just, uh, it's, it's protection It's and it's sometimes misguided, but it's always with a good uh, intent. The show kind of is kind of harkens back to a little bit of like Alf, um, a little bit, and um, this interacting with this this fish out of water. But at the same time, there's a little bit of naughtiness to to Mary. So talk about kind of that that flip of something that's adorably cute being kind of the mischievous one. Well, the cuteness, you know, came from as a child. I created this imaginary friend, so she basically comes out of a child's mind you know, with how she looks, and, you know, she's a little bit stuck in that time frame of education and, and mischief, but also... We should hook you know, Mary and Alf up. Yeah, Mary and Alf should, like, go Although on a I date. I feel like Mary could do better. Yeah, that's true. You know? Alf was an alien, let's not forget. Yeah. And this is, this is a a, of her, out of her own imagination. Yeah, and but the thing is, you know, when we're trying to navigate decisions in life, you, we have both sides, you know what I mean? We have our mischief bad side, and then we have our side that like knows what we really should do, and then we have the side that's just like, I have no idea what to do, and the whole combat of navigating your life is manifested and illustrated visibly through Mary. Yeah. Does she feel like there's a threat then to her with this family that's kind of invaded Alice's life? Yeah, and I think it's something we play with as we move forward, but you don't know exactly what the threat is, and you don't know what... Um, you don't know what she's there to achieve at first, right? So, and the question of if, if, if it gets achieved, is she going to exist anymore? Is a kind of a nice, fun uh, panic to put in Mary, you know, at a certain point in the season where she starts to worry, oh no, this might be working out too well. Um, there's something kind of cool about that because she would disappear before and maybe doesn't want to go back. So, um, you know, and playing f with like where she goes and all that is something that we're you know, we want to have a lot of fun with. Does Ben start suspecting, you know, that all is not right in Alice? No. Um, ben actually is just so in head over heels in love that he uh, is completely enamored with her. And she just uh, seems like a fun, quirky girl who would be, you know, who makes him happy and proves to make his kids happy and that's really what he's looking for someone that doesn't take themselves too seriously likes to have fun and is great for his kids and he knows i'm out of my element he knows alice yeah. is out of her element so if she acts a little odd sometimes you know he knows i'm kind of stressed by the whole experience yeah. so anything that comes up he attributes it to that mm -hmm.